all right now let's discuss about the difference between RTOS and GPOS in terms of priority inversion let's say you are going out with your car and we will assume your car as a lower priority vehicle uh, enters the busy traffic intersection and uh, you may be thinking that you can easily cross the intersection now let's say unfortunately all these vehicles come to a sudden stop and you are struck right in the middle of the intersection of the roads suddenly you hear the siren of an ambulance which is heading to hospital over this lane the ambulance is of course a higher priority vehicle isn't it now it cannot cross this intersection because unfortunately you cannot move that is you are struck right now so the ambulance now has to wait until you move out of its way that means the higher priority vehicle is waiting for lower priority vehicle to exit that is exactly what priority inversion is the higher priority vehicle behaving like it is a lower priority and a lower priority vehicle is behaving like a higher priority so this is the case of priority inversion now let's apply this into computing world let's say your car is lower priority task and uh, these taxis are medium priority and this ambulance is higher priority task and this intersection area is a shared resource because this is common for both the roads isn't it now let's say lower priority task has acquired the key to access this shared area but it is not allowed to run on the cpu because lots of medium priority tasks are running on the cpu which won't allow lower priority task to take the cpu now when the higher priority task enters it cannot access this shared area isn't it because key is taken by the lower priority task but lower priority task is not allowed to run it can only give up the key once it is allowed to run isn't it so until the lower priority task runs key will be locked for this shared resource and uh, higher priority task cannot access it so the higher priority task has to wait until lower priority task releases the key causing the inversion in priority in gpos this is not at all a major issue so but in rtos it will definitely lead to issues because you are blocking the higher priority task to execute but most of the real time kernel uh, use some techniques to solve this issue so our rtos can create paths on the fly which allows the higher priority tasks to bypass a lower priority task or uh, that we call as rescheduling or uh, there could be other techniques like temporarily making uh, this as a higher priority task and this as a lower priority task so that giving chance for the lowest priority task to run and release the key so all these techniques uh, our task uses to uh, at least to minimize the priority inversion problem so priority inversion is uh, not a problem in general purpose os but this will surely cause problem in real time operating system so what are the features that uh, autos has got but a uh, gpos doesn't the first point i would like to mention is the real time operating system has got the priority based preemptive scheduling that means it always favors the highest priority task in the system all right but a gpos cannot act like this if it does then it will kill the throughput of the system so gpos usually go for those scheduling techniques which increase the throughput of the system and the next point is you will not find a very long critical section code segments where the interrupt uh, as well as the preemption of the system is disabled in order to protect the critical section you will learn more about uh, protecting critical section later in this course don't worry about that but in the case of gpos this may not be the case 
and in atos a widening of priority inversion is a must otherwise that may lead to the failure of the system but in the case of gpos priority inversion problem doesn't add significant problem and atos always has bounded interrupt latency as well as bounded scheduling latency but in the case of gpos the interrupt latency and task scheduling latency may vary significantly due to complexity of the system as well as due to the increase in system load as time elapses